this video, I'm going to take you through creating a PIT model which can be used in the reporting of estimates. The basis of the method is to create a categorical model to code onto the block model, and to do this we'll use the geological modeling tools. I've already created a geological model, which you can see in the scene here, and I've estimated gold into a couple of the domains already. So let's go and make our pit model. So come to geological models, new geological model. Now the base ethology column, I'm going to set to none because I'm not going to use any of the coding from the drill holes because that's not going to be relevant to me. Enclose object. The quickest way is to use a pre-existing model. So I'm just going to use my domaining model and then just rename. Before I start creating the pit model, I need to put some coding into the lithologies table. Because we use the base lithology column of none, I have nothing in here. So I need to add a couple. So I just want what's inside and what's outside of the pit. It's just the one pit I have. So it's just very simple inside, outside. Okay. So this is the pit I'm going to use, the pit mesh. You can see that Leapfrog has recognized that this side of the pit, which is the inside, is, is red and the outside of the pit is blue. So this is just important to note for when you start building your model, um, so you can define what's the first lithology and the second lithology. So this is probably the more logical way to to think of it uh, and you can always reverse the polarity of your meshes if, if um, it's not if it's reversing what you expect it to do to do that you open and you can invert mesh orientation here i won't do that now so back on my pit model surface chronology new deposit from surface i'm going to use that mesh there we go. So the first lithology, which is younger, is going to be inside my pit. So I'm going to use that inside coding and my second lithology is going to be outside. So I can activate this. I'm going to set the background lithology to outside and press OK. And then I've got inside and outside. So let's just switch these others off. And that looks correct. So I will go ahead and evaluate this onto my block model. Pit model, just um, bring it across onto the evaluations and let that run. So now I will just double check on my model to see that that has coded on as I was expecting model. Switch this off. So I can see, yes, red inside and this funny green on the outside. So let's go ahead and make a resource report. To make a resource report, you need a category on your model. So, or at least one category. Um, I'm going to use my domain model so I can report by domain and my pit model and then my combined AU, which is basically for both of my domains that I've estimated. I need to select or tell it what units to use. Now I've also got these invalid uh, values here. So this is just where there are blocks in these uh, domains that um, have, have not been estimated. So just by applying a cutoff, we'll get rid of those uh, blocks. And now I can see down the bottom here, the two domains that I did estimate. Now you can switch which way around you, you view this. Um, and you can see that I, I've got zero tens for most of these because I, I didn't do any estimates. So I can just switch those off. I can change the units as well. So let's put that back to ounces and decimal places and things you can sort out. I'm not interested in the unknown. Okay, so now I've got inside and outside, uh, which is, is is useful to have. But in my case now, I only want to report inside the pit. So 
the best thing to do now would be to apply a filter so I can get rid of this column. So I'm going to go back onto my block model here, right click and select calculations and filters, new filter, inside the pit. And then I'm just going to use the items that I have on my model and then the syntax is here. So where the pit model equals, expand that out inside, that's going to be my filter for inside the pit. I'll just come back to the scene to check that this filter's um, done correctly inside. So yeah, it's filtered my model out. So if I change that to AU, yep, yeah, that's definitely worked. I can go back to my resource report, select the filter, and now I can take off this uh, column here. I don't need that. And there's my uh, report for my res uh, estimates within a pit. I can go ahead and copy this table out and paste it into Excel. I hope that was useful for you. If you have any questions, please uh, contact us on your local support email address or office. Thank you.